everybody, it's me, Dan Sexton with Renee Mears Realtors, Mr. Excitement, and I'm excited today because I have another video to share with you. Uh, as we're quickly approaching the spring selling season, I thought I would share three things that sellers need to consider when put, getting their home ready to put on the market. Uh, selling a home can be very emotional. Uh, it's a place you've probably spent a lot of time in, maybe you've grazed your children in, and so there's a lot of emotion that goes into selling a home. Well, one of the things you got to do is you got to take all that emotion out of it. You got to change from being home to house. It is now a commodity. You've got to treat it like a business commodity that you're trying to get the best price for. So you've got to change that mindset and get the emotion out of it uh, and do the things that will get you the best and highest return on investment. And here are some of the things that I would recommend you consider. Okay, so the three things that I want to highlight in the, today's video uh, when you want to get your home ready to sell is... Number one, renovations. I'm going to talk a little bit about what you should do, what you shouldn't do, uh, and you know what are the best return on your investment for a renovation that will net you the most money. Number two, repairs and preparation. Um, you know what are you going to do to get you know your home ready to for being viewed and all of that so we're going to talk about you know the repairs that should be done and uh, the, uh preparation to uh, show the house and then finally lastly the most probably the most critical thing is proper pricing and you know, we'll cover proper pricing and we'll get into detail about that so let's go to the next slide and talk about the first one renovations Okay, so number one, the one thing that us realtors get asked all the time when we go on listing appointments is, what do I need to do to my house to make it sell quicker, get more money out of it? And it is a tough question because you're not sure what, how much money a seller would want to invest in putting into their home. Uh, you also have to consider the market. Uh, is the a super hot market? Maybe all those updates and stuff that you were wanting to do might not be necessary. And there's some uh, updates that you think should be done that aren't going to give you the best return for your money. So uh, here are a couple things to consider when thinking about renovations. Number one, you should take great care on what renovations you're going to do and get some consultation either with a realtor or a home remodeling specialist. Talk about what it is you want to do. Uh, make sure you're doing the right things. It's going to pay off at the, in the long run. Remember, you're not trying to live in this house later on. You're trying to sell it. So you have to appeal to what a potential buyer would want. So some of the best uh, advice I can give is, you know, is to get a consultation. You just make sure you're talking to your realtor. Have your realtor talk about the neighborhood norm. What is considered normal in this neighborhood? Is it hand scraped hardwood floors or is it engineered floors? Uh, is it quartz countertops or is it a, a regular uh, uh, granite or whatever? So those are things you got to consider. Don't don't over update your house because you may not get that back. And the other thing you got to be very careful of is doing the wrong updates or doing subpar updates. I know a lot of people are trying to cut corners and save money by doing some of these things themselves. And, and if you're a carpenter or a home improvement specialist, by all means, you can save a lot of money. However, some of those updates you're going to want to do need to be done by a professional because, trust me, a buyer's eye is going to pick out an amateur job. Uh, we have all seen those amateur jobs done, the DIY weekender that's, you know, messed up a house. So there are some things that, you know, a normal uh, homeowner can do like painting and, and stuff like that. But if you're talking about remodels or, or anything like that, I would highly recommend you get a, cons uh, a professional uh, in to do those things. Um, the other thing we want to talk about is making sure we're doing the right remodels. Uh, there's some remodels that... Um, you know, don't return as well. And you'd be surprised, you know, you talk to most people, you know, what's the best return? And they're going to tell you, update your kitchens and bathrooms. That's, that's true. 
that but that might not be the best return you get according to a lot of statistics out there some of the best ROI is updating your HVAC systems making sure insulation is up to par you know these things you don't necessarily aren't sexy but they're necessary um, now updating your flooring is always a good thing and, and fairly reasonable that you can be done that you'll get a good return on uh, landscaping first impressions are the best so you know you make sure your landscaping is done and that's usually something that you can do or have a landscaper do that's fairly inexpensive give it that wow factor when people walk up to the front door another one that a lot of people don't consider is uh, garage doors or entry doors uh, you know again that's your first drive up curb appeal thing you know a nice steel door uh, you know gives you a, a whole new meaning feeling for a buyer that's coming into the house uh, you know and of course anytime you can add additional living space um, you know converting an attic converting uh, you know a closet uh, those types of uh, additional just giving you additional living space is always a good thing to do the next thing to consider is what should be done as far as repairs and or preparing the house to be able to go on the market you know so you need to look around your house and is there stuff that's uh broken uh dysfunctional those are things you probably need to address but you need to also decide are you going to sell this house as is a uh, fixer upper or are you going to try to get the most money in the market for your property if you're going to try to get the most money there are, you're going to need to walk through it with the realtor and he, they're going to point out things that probably need to be done if you got a crack in the drywall you know that's going to send a signal to the buyer that hey you might potentially have a foundation issue those things need to be addressed um you know if you've got a, uh, lights that aren't working make sure all the lights are working these are simple repairs that you can do uh the toilets flush there's no leaks under the the vanities and stuff like that um you know so the other next thing you're going to get to once you get all the repairs done consult with the realtor and talk about staging the home you know the number one thing that realtors will tell a seller is declutter 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 I know those are three things, but really decluttering is the best thing. Uh, we, I can even bring in a stager or a realtor can bring a stager in to consult with you about how to make your home look the best and most presentable. So that declutter and staging is critical and fixing those minor issues uh, that are going on so that when your buyer walks into that house, they immediately don't see, oh, I see issues. The third and final thing to consider is, of course, the price. Uh, pricing your home is critical in the market. Um, so that's why a realtor is very critical for you is to have them run a competitive market analysis to understand what is your neighborhood pricing like. You know, a good realtor is going to look at similar homes in the area with similar updates. What is it sold for? and you know how does your home compare to those and that's you know typically how they'll come up with a strategy on pricing you know you can look at your tax appraised value but you've got to understand the tax assessor's never been in your house so they don't really truly know what condition your property is in so disregard the tax value uh, you know and then when you get under contract you're going to get an appraisal you're going to actually have a professional appraiser come in on most cases if they're paying cash they may not but in most of the time you're going to have an appraiser come in uh, at the onset of the contract to, to determine its value so a good realtor is going to cut out all of that headache and and stress from you know overpricing your home and it is sitting on the market and the next thing you know you're dropping price you know the last thing you want to do is have a lot of price drops because that's signaling to the market a I overpriced the property or B there's an issue and you know buyers typically stay away from homes that appear to have issues so hopefully you found these three points uh, helpful in preparing your home for sale of course you can reach out to me anytime and I'll give you some additional items that you consider as well but again my name is Dan Sexton with Renee Mears Realtors Mr. Excitement and I'm excited to bring these tips to you